spray, the painting, all the amount of the time that we need to let a lapse or anything to dry has already passed. Um, we did have some issues last year with people bringing bikes on there, skateboards, things like that, and that tears to, tends to tear up the track. Our signs say, can't, not allowed, but again on the weekends when no one's here, there's really no one to monitor it. Um, so the only thing would be for the board to consider not opening it up on weekends, but so we'll put the signs back up. We do have cameras out there, um, so we can periodically monitor it from time to time. Yeah, sure. yeah that's a great idea. Um, yeah. And we'll get the new signs up, and then we can get it for you next week. Let's go with that. Is that okay? Yeah, so everything's yeah. cured, and we've got our protective layer. Or seal it or whatever. Yes, they took a couple of days to put that down. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, also, the uh, U.S. Department of Ag Agriculture did notify schools this week that those waivers that were in place the past two years, allowing for all students to receive free meals during COVID, are not going to be renewed. Um, so parents will need to go back to completing three and reduced applications for the 22-23 school year. We will have communication going out to the parents, letting them know this. So as we start to do our registrations over the summer, make sure that they get online and complete those applications for next school year. So that has ended. Um, last week, we had the last end of the school year COVID webinar with the Indiana Department of mm -hmm. Health. Uh, right now, they're not changing any of the current guidance. That's the five days that we are with right now for isolation and quarantine. Um, so that is what we will currently be doing with testing, isolation, and quarantine through the summer school. They will be following the rates, um, obviously, in the area and through, throughout the state. And prior to the start of the 22-23 school year, the Indiana Department of Health is going to send updated guidance to schools, depending on how things go over the summer. And they told us to expect that early August. So for right now, our plan will stay the same that it has been. There's not going to be any changes, and we'll be waiting till August to see if there's anything. Pretty much, they're going to leave. Sounds like from moving forward, most things local control unless there is <coughs> a spike or a change. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We have the assistant superintendent's report. We received our WIDA results, and the majority of our students increased significantly their proficiency level from 2021 to 2022. Okay. The biggest increase was 143 points by a first grader. Wow. Additionally, additionally, 13 um, first through sixth graders will be exiting the EL program because they have reached proficiency. Um, and their proficiency is in the reading, writing, listening, and speaking. And Ms. Hodson and Ms. Mendoza are our EL teachers who have worked diligently with our kids through the COVID obstacles to get them where they are today. Wow, so, that's great. great. Kudos to them. Is that 13? 13. That's that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. And as you know, our 21st century scholars, in order to be eligible for the scholarship upon graduation, need to complete 12 activities while in high school related to going to college. Um, one of those activities is to visit a college campus. So we were awarded, um, we were one of four in the region awarded the commission, I'm sorry, the, community, the school and community partnership grant from the Indiana Commission of Higher Ed. And our students will be visiting IUN, PNW, and Ball State in June and July this summer. Wow. And this past Friday was Bike to School Day. The city supported us with backpacks for each student who either biked or walked to school. Mm -hmm. And INDOT came over and provided all of our kindergartners, first graders, and second graders with bike helmets. One That's little nice. kid said, well, now that I have a bike helmet, I need a bike. So, <laughs> so maybe mom and dad or maybe Santa Claus will bring that to them. But um, they also received a presentation on bike safety and how to wear your helmets correctly. So that's my report this evening. Does anyone have any questions? Thank you. Okay. Director Pinus. Okay. Um, we did receive our spring advanced property tax money. That was received last year. Actually, I think it came in the next day. It was supposed to be there Friday, but it didn't show up till today. Um, we received $150,921. It's about 5% of our levy. Um, we'll receive the rest of our spring distribution by June 30th. 
Um, also, on the agenda tonight is approval to accept the supply chain assistance funds, and this is from the USDA. Um, funds are received for school districts for purchasing unprocessed and minimally processed foods such as milk, fresh fruit, um, cheese, frozen vegetables, and ground meats. Um, this, these funds cannot be used for labor supplies or administrative expenses. Expenses. Um, we'll be receiving twenty-six thousand twenty-three dollars and thirteen cents. Um, they have allocated about twenty-two million. Um, so any funds that do not accept the money, um, they'll reallocate the money to the schools that did accept it. We did send an acceptance um, on the Friday. So that is, uh, we'll be getting those funds on June sixteenth. It's always taking advantage of everything. Can't imagine someone not. Accepting those funds. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Moving on to new business. Approval to accept the resignation of Nicole Davenport from her seat as school board president president. So moved. Second. Okay. Um, motion from Christine, second from Cecilia. Cecilia. <laughs> Any questions, comments? Concerns? Okay. I forgot what I say next. All those in favor? Aye. 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 This motion passes. All right. Nominations for uh, President of the School City of Whiting School Board of Trustees. Do we have any Do we have any volunteers? I think it has to be a nomination. Um, but who's just asking if we have someone who's. I'll nominate Steph Madison. I'll second. Okay. Do we have any other nominations? Do we have any other nominations? Do we have any other nominations? Okay. Questions, comments, concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. This motion passes. <laughs> Do you switch? Do we, we have to switch, switch, switch immediately? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You have to actually stand up and walk over there. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I could throw you the gown. Kind of strange. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, I'll get to grab Amanda's then. I'll get my bag later. Oh. <laughs> All right, next on the agenda, approval to change June regular board meeting from Monday, June 27th, 2022 to Thursday, June 23rd, 2022 at 6 p.m. Can I have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Uh, motion by Chris, second by Nicole. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Um, acceptance of donations. Um, so do we do these separately or we do them together? Do we do each item separately? Uh, approval to accept a $100 donation from Nancy Stolman for the junior class. Motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second. second. Motion by Amanda, second by Cecilia. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Approval to accept donation of four youth bikes for Nathan Hale Bike to School event raffle from Cynthia Scrabians, Lori Kovach, and Julie Pearson. So moved. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. All right, approval of 2022-2023 student handbook. Uh, so a motion for the Nathan Hale Elementary Student Handbook. So moved. And a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So a motion by Christine, second by Nicole. Uh, Whiting Middle School Student Handbook. I'll make a motion. I'll second. second. Oh, go ahead, Susan. Uh, motion by Nicole, second by Cecilia. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, Okay, I tried to touch screen. I saw that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just say for the scene. Whiting High School Student Handbook. Approval motion. Motion. I'll make a motion. And second. I'll second. 
Motion by Chris, second by Nicole. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, approval of NIESC Media Specialist Consultant Agreement for the 2022-2023 school year. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Uh, motion by Amanda, second by Chris. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, textbook fees for the 2022-2023 school year. Um, approval of Nathan Hale textbook fees for the school year. Um, do I need to read these? You can say as presented. As presented. A through F. I'll make a motion. Second. Motion by Chris, second by Amanda. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> First. Motion carries. Um, approval of Whiting Middle School textbook fees for the 22-23 school year. I have a motion. A motion. Nicole and a second. Second. Uh, motion by Nicole, second by Chris. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, and approval of Whiting High School textbook fees for the 22-23 school year. I'll make a motion. And a second. Second. Motion by Chris, second by Amanda. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, all right, on to oh, additional new business. So phase two summer registration dates. Approval to change the dates of phase two for summer registration from Tuesday, July 25th, 2022 and Thursday, July 28th, 2022 to Monday, July 25th, 2022 and Tuesday, July 26th, 2022. Wait. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, the Monday and the Tuesday don't match. Okay. Monday is the 25th. The Tuesday should have been the 26th. Okay. There we go. Okay, so changing from Tuesday, July 26th and Thursday, July 28th to Monday, July 25th and Tuesday, July 26th. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. To accommodate pro Fest. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Can I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Second. Thank you. Motion by Cecilia, yes. second by Amanda. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, approval for renewal of five star pivot evaluation software agreement from July 1st, 2022 to June 30th, 2023. <laughs> Um, this is software used for completion of teacher and certified staff evaluations. I'll make the motion. Thank you. And second? I'll second. Thank you. Motion by Chris, second by Nicole. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval for renewal of Ed Genuity software contract from July 1st, 2022 to June 30th, 2023. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Thank you. Motion by Chris, second by Nicole. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Approval of renewal of Renaissance Accelerated Reader contract from July 1st, 2022 to June 30th, 2023. Uh, this Accelerated Reader program is used by all students grade K, K through 12. <coughs> I have a motion. So moved. And a second? I'll second. Motion by Chris, second by Cecilia. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval to renew frontline AppleTrack agreement for the 22-23 school year. Um, it's software used for the application process and the posting of all job openings. I have a motion. I'll make a motion. And a second? Second. Uh, was that Amanda? I'm sorry. Yes, yeah. it was Amanda. Motion by Amanda, second by Chris. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Approval to renew Edmentum contract from July 1st, 2022 to June 30th, 2023. It's an online curriculum for math and English language arts 
utilized in Whiting Middle School. So moved. A second. Moved by Chris, second by Nicole. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval to accept supply chain assistance funds from the USDA Food and Nutrition. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Uh, this is pretty cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry. Chris was, yes. I was reading. That's okay. I made a and motion. And who was the second? Cecilia. Five. Thank you. So motion by Chris, second by Cecilia. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? Motion carries. Um, approval of resignations. So these are indicated as presented. As presented. Okay. Approval of resignations as presented, numbers one through six. I'll make a motion. And a second. I'll second. Thank you. Uh, motion by Amanda, second by Chris. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of appointments as presented numbers one through six. Um, or do we do separate? We do these separate? Because of, yeah, do them separate. Okay, uh, number one, approval to appoint Jose Ortega as Whiting High School Social Studies teacher for the 22-23 school year. Motion? I'll, make motion. I'll second. Uh, motion by Amanda, second by Chris. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Approval to appoint Laura Shade as Nathan Hale Elementary Art Teacher for the 22-23 school year. I have so a motion. <laughs> second. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Motion by Chris, second by Amanda. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Um, approval to appoint Dorina Lopez as the Whiting High School Language Arts Teacher for the 22-23 school year. Motion? Motion. I'll second. Thank you. Motion by Nicole, second by Chris. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Oh. Approval to appoint Nick Zivanovich for Whiting High School business teacher for the 22-23 school year. Can I have a motion? I'll make a motion. And a second? I'll second. Motion by Amanda, second by Chris. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, approval to appoint Robert Prevoy as School City Whiting Coordinator of Special Student Services for the 22-23 school year. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion. And a second? Second. Motion by Chris, second by Amanda. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'll be abstaining from the vote. Uh, and motion carries. And then finally, approval to appoint Emma Nieto as Nathan Hill Elementary teacher for 22-23 school year. Motion? I'll make the motion. And a second. <coughs> I'll second. Thank you. Chris, uh, with the motion, I'll pull with the second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Question? Yes. Um, is Emma Nieto one of our students? And last name sounds familiar. No? Okay. Yeah. Just wondered. <coughs> that would have been fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, public content. So I need uh, approval of 40 hours for Patrick Petcher as summer Whiting High School, Whiting Middle School band director. Make a motion. Second. Motion by Cecilia, second by Amanda. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of Yesenia Garcia as a summer school transportation aide for up to four hours daily from June 13th, 2022 to July 1st, 2022. We have a motion. I'll make a motion. And a second. Second. Motion by Chris, second by Amanda. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of 40 hours for Katie Sable to complete summer student health services. May I have a motion? So make a motion. Second. Motion by Amanda, second by Chris. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of 40 hours for Amy Segura to complete summer student health services. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion. And a second. I'll second. Chris with a motion, Cecilia with a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of Kelsey Showwaiter as summer school teacher for June 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, not to exceed four hours. May I have a motion? 
Yes, I'll make a motion. And second. second. Okay, motion by Chris, second by Amanda. Uh, any, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Do we have any questions on that one? A little bit. Why yeah. is it only not to exceed four hours? Is that only four hours a day or just four She's hours? only doing one of the days, correct? Well, they had on the recommendation, you had four hours for three, those three days, four hours each day. Oh, oh that's um, correct. Yeah, that's correct. That, that so then it's four yeah. hours each day. Not to exceed four hours daily on both. Right. Number um, five, five and number six. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay, so do I need to call for an amendment to that motion on number five? Yeah, yeah. I I'll make so. a motion yeah. to amend approval of Kelsey Showwaiter as summer school teacher for June 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, uh, 2022, not to exceed four hours each day. And a second? A second. Okay, so amended motion by Chris, second by Nicole. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, approval of Miss Diana Last as summer school teacher for June 17, 2021 of uh, 2022, not to exceed four hours per day. So moved. Second. Okay. Um, motion by Chris, second by Cecilia. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Uh, retroactive approval to appoint Teresa Gonzalez as textbook adoption chairperson for the 21-22 school year for Nathan Hale. We have a motion. I'll make a motion. And a second. I'll second. Motion by Chris, second by Nicole. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, retroactive approval to hire Arthur Young as the Whiting High School head football coach. Effective... May 1st, 2022. Oh, I'm sorry. Retroactive approval to hire Arthur Young as the Whiting Middle School head football coach, effective May 1st, 2022. Thank you. I'll make a motion. Second. Uh, motion by Chris, second by Amanda. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, retroactive approval to hire Paul Vale as the Whiting Middle School assistant football coach, effective May 1st. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Motion by Chris, second by Amanda. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Approval for Whiting Park Symphony Festival Orchestra for use of 50 music stands and four piece set of timpani for pickup the week of July 18th, 2022, returning the equipment during the week of September 5th, 2022. So moved. Awesome. I'll second it. Move, uh, motion by Chris, second by Nicole. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, audience comments, non-agenda items, three-minute limit per person. And we're Do we have any online? Okay. Are we checking online? You yeah, yeah, oh, oh, should did. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. Um, okay. So, board comments. board comments. Chris, would you like to start? Sure. I'd like to say congratulations to Nancy, Jean, and Dan. Um, just what a way to end a school year. I mean, some of our, I don't know, I, I, I'm going to say it, some of our best teachers, <laughs> in my opinion, here, <laughs> longevity counts for a lot. Um, it, it's just going to be a different place without them. Mm -hmm. They're like the pillars of Nathan Hale and Whiting High School. Pillars. Um, but good luck to them. Good luck on their retirement and Dan on his new adventure. And let's end this school year on a high note. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Amanda? Uh, I just want to congratulate the band and choir members. Yes, I, I really enjoyed their performances. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's good to see you know lots yeah. of kids in band and choir, and it was good to see some middle schoolers coming up. Yeah, uh, because it means that the band and choir is still hanging on. Yeah. So, yeah. Cecilia, uh, just congratulations to the retirees. Yeah, definitely. 
Nicole are the same. So it's nice to have the students come to our meetings. Yeah, so, yeah definitely. Is. Congratulations. Glory, anything? <laughs> Steph, anything? Well, yeah, I mean, you guys said all the good stuff already. So, like, yeah, super big congratulations to those retiring. And I love, I was a band kid, and my Skyler was a band kid, so I love seeing the band. So that's always a highlight for me. So. And with that said, I'll make a motion. Second. Second. Any opposed? All in favor? <laughs> all right. All right. Motion carries. Have a great evening. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Wait a